I want to make a quick recommendation uh, when it comes to natural language processing and most specifically transformers. So this is a book that I've uh, started out very recently. I started studying from it very recently. Um, and I think it's one of the very few books that's um, already that's actually available when it comes to transformers, because since transformers are uh, AI language models that are relatively new, there are very few books on them. So I usually, um, when it comes to studying something, uh, I think that books are still one of the best ways to do it, especially if you like to take notes, which is what I do when it comes to this book. And I might be actually sharing the notes that I'm doing with Samsung Notes for this book. After I complete it, right now I'm only like 5% into it, but uh, it's so good that I decided to actually make a suggestion and actually look into what it is all about. So without further ado, let's actually get into it. This is a 2021 book. So, as you can see here, copyright 2021 by Dennis Rothman. And I think there's another, um, there's another author as well. So, this is a book by Pact. So, Dennis, this book is actually by Dennis Rothman. And Dennis Rothman is uh, currently designing one of the very first word to metrics patented embedding and vectorizing systems so he began his career authoring one of the first ai cognitive natural language processing chatbots applied as an automated language teacher for moet echandon and other companies okay so he authored an ai resource optimizer for abm and a parallel producer and an advanced planning and scheduling solution used worldwide. All right, and then we have uh, reviewers. Um, yeah, so let's actually, uh, this is the detailed content, but let's just uh, jump into who this book is for. Okay, so you might be considering as a, um, this is a different video from the one that the, from the ones that I've been doing uh, very recently when it comes to approaching machine learning and uh, the very previous videos like the last five or six uh, videos have been on math and on solving algebra exercises and I keep saying that the ultimate goal with those is to actually get into machine learning from a first principles approach so from the very bottom of it that's why we'll start with math and algebra. But now I'm actually, uh, let's say, skipping ahead for some people who are actually looking for books which are very specific. So we're talking about very specifically here natural language processing transformer models, transformer language models. Um, and yeah, since there are very few books out there, uh, this video i think it's going to be useful for quite a few people so this book is not an introduction to python programming so be aware that this is not an introduction to python programming book or machine learning concepts instead this is for people who are actually so it focuses on deep learning for machine translation, speech to text, text to speech, language modeling, question answering, and many more NLP domains. So readers who can benefit from this book are deep learning and NLP practitioners. So you already have to be quite familiar with uh, Python programming, with natural language processing, and with deep learning. Also, if you're a data analyst or data scientist who wants an introduction to AI language understanding, so this is more like NLU, natural language understanding, to process the increasing amount of language-driven functions. So yeah, 
if you're an um, if you're a beginner in AI or looking for something to help you with uh, starting with coding with Python for AI or machine learning, this book is not for dich. Für dich. That's the German for you, I believe. If I'm not mistaken, I might be mistaken. I have to brush up my German. Okay, so who this book is for, then what the book covers. So let's actually look into, uh, look briefly into what it covers. So chapter one, getting started with model architecture of the transformer. And here uh, it goes, this is actually where I'm uh, right uh, at this moment. So it actually goes into explaining the attention is all you need paper. And I have to add here that there are a lot of good YouTube videos for the attention is all you need. So let's actually make this one thinner um, for the attention for the which explain the attention is all you need paper. They are very, uh, very, very used um, models, so used that there are some uh, uh, researchers in natural language processing which keep saying about Bertology, so they talk about Bertology as it's a sort of a religion around the, these uh, Bert models, so Bert is bidirectional encoded representations for or from transformers. So uh, there are maybe hundreds, if not probably hundreds, it's a safe estimate uh, that uh, iterations, different iterations of BERT, so as a um, NLP model. Okay, chapter three, we can see here a BERT iteration so pre-training a roberta model from scratch this is looking forward to this basically because i've only been working on top of them um with uh, hugging faces and also with uh gpt3 so i'm looking forward into getting into the nitty-gritty of this okay now Chapter 4, Downstream NLP Tasks with Transformers. Okay, the magic of transformer downstream NLP tasks. And these are some of the NLP tasks. And it's also interesting that uh, talks about the evaluation process of transformers. Okay. Chapter 5 becomes very specific and focused on machine translation. Okay. Then we go into models like GPT, so generative pre-trained transformers, generative pre-trained transformers, and even more specifically GPT-2 and GPT-3. Okay. All right. Now... Chapter 7, Applying Transformers to Legal and, Legal and Financial Documents for AI Text Summarization. This is interesting, um, and they actually use, so Dennis actually goes, approaches this using the T5 Transformer, which I think it's also from Google as well. Um, so Applying Transformers to Legal and Financial. I've actually used GPT-NEO for this purpose which is from Eleuther AI, and I've also been using GPT-3 for this. Now, matching tokenizers and data sets in Chapter 8. Chapter 9, we're getting back into Bertology, of course. 
semantic role labeling with bird maybe this is uh, not very interesting for me maybe i'll skip through it um we will implement or maybe not bird based uh, transformer model designed by the allen institute so the folks at allen are people who i really appreciate researchers fellows who i really appreciate uh one of the reasons being is because of their semantic scholar tool okay part three advanced language understanding techniques let your data do the talking story questions and answers how a transformer can learn how to reason maybe this is too big of a word but nevertheless chapter 11 de detecting customer emotions to make predictions this is probably something on the easier side of things especially if you talk about uh, insights from twitter sentiment analysis but if we talk about customer um, emotions this is maybe it has more to do from a review perspective analyzing fake news and the last chapter so analyzing fake news with transformers this is gonna be interesting all right and finally you have access to the collaboratory notes so google collab notes you will need python then which is where i'm here now i do take the necessary time to read chapter one and then after reading each chapter consider how you could implement transformers for your customers or use them to move up in your career with novel ideas i'll definitely look into that because as i'm currently um working on alter ai so alter ai dot me um i'm actually looking forward to maybe implementing uh other models or other transformers to be useful in the framework so you can check out alter ai.me for free and see how it works uh, it's alter ai is basically a framework or a suite of tools of tools suite of tools suite of tools whatever you want to call it intelligent tools that use transformer models to help you um, in your entrepreneurial, creative, and even personal uses. So check them out. All right, I guess that's it for this video. Uh, I think I'm going to do more uh, book reviews uh, because these books, some of these books, books are still cool.